In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use level of detail expressions to color lines by the most recent data point. So you see here on my screen, I have a chart of a line chart of quarterly sales by region. And basically what I want to do is I want to color the uh, central region, this line here, I want to color that by the value of 292,814. For the west, I want to color it by 246,474. For the south, 176. And for the east, 246. Okay, so <clears throat> let me just kind of show you a couple things here. First, I'm going to move this to the detail shelf because I still want a line for each region, but now they're all the same color. So if I just put sales onto color, you'll see what happened is Tableau is actually coloring it by where it is on this scale. So whatever shade this blue is here for the 292, 292,000, I want this entire line to be that same color. So let's start by duplicating the sheet as a cross tab. I think it's a bit easier to understand this way. And I'm just going to go ahead and flip the chart so we can see it all nice in one view. So basically, I want, I need to return these four numbers for every quarter in the view. So I'm going to start by creating calculated field. I'm just going to call it my latest sales. And what I could do here is I could do a level of detail expression that is something like uh, fixed at the uh, date trunk of quarter. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, date trunk of quarter and region. Then I want to return the sum of sales. So let's see what that gives us. So this is basically saying, uh, if I put this into an English sentence, this is saying for each quarter, uh, it, it's actually each year, quarter, and region, return or calculate the sum of sales. So that's essentially what that's telling us. So let's hit, a, let's hit apply and then let's drag this into the table. And what you can see now, let's swap these around. So if I look at each field, let me just go ahead and close this, I guess. So we can see that <coughs> uh, Tableau is actually returning the same exact value. So we only want it to return a value if it's the most recent quarter. So how do we fix that? So let's edit our calculation. And what I need to do now is I still want this in here because I, I want this table. Uh, but I think what I want to do now is I want to say something like, uh, let's try it this way. Let's say, uh, let's go inside the expression. So instead of sum of sales, let's make a little bit of space here. And let's say um, if the uh, quarter, so we want to get the most recent quarter, so let's say, so if the quarter is equal to, and I'm going to do a, another level of detail expression that's just the max of my quarter. So this is saying <clears throat> if the quarter in the table matches the maximum quarter in the data set, uh, then I want sales end. Okay. So uh, I could, uh, I probably should maybe make this for each region as well. So let's actually fix it to the region. Because I, I, I could potentially have a different end date for each region. So this part here is saying for each region, return the maximum, uh, uh, the maximum quarter. So let's hit apply. And now you can see in our table, close that. You can see we're only returning the value for the latest quarter. Okay, so if I go back over here and I put uh, latest sales onto the color, we get something like that. Well, what's happening here is none of these are colored by anything. You see our latest sales in the tooltip is blank. What I really want is I need this 292 to be on every point so they're all colored the same way. Okay, so let's go back over here and let's edit this and we need to create one more level of detail expression. So notice how I'm kind of working inside out. So I'm going to start and I'm going to fix it at the region level because I want to say for each region just return this. So sum of uh, that. 
So let's just match up all of our mustachios and our brackets. So uh, let's hit apply. And what you should see, so we got 292.814 here on Q4 2014, or I'm sorry, Q4 2015. If we watch up here at Q4 of 2012, we should see 292.814 pop up. So let's hit apply, and automatically we have the same value. So let's break this down again. So starting from the inside out, I'm just going to put some some comments in here for you. So this this uh, level of detail expression is saying, uh, or at least this part here. Let me uh, maybe I'll do it this way to make it a bit clearer for you. Let me. Um, so this one is saying uh, for each region, uh, calculate the. Oh boy, I'm having trouble spelling. The maximum quarter. Okay, so that's what this one is doing. And basically, my if is just matching that up and just pulling back the right value. And then this one is saying um, uh, for for each. Oh, hold on, let me check here. There we go. For each uh, qu quarter uh, year and region and I'm saying quarter and year because I'm using date trunk so each qu uh, quarter year and region return the sum of sales for the latest quarter of each region so you see you can kind of like really build these expressions up and make them quite complicated so let me make this in two lines so we can read it and then lastly this one is saying uh, for each region, uh, return, uh, let's see, uh, da, da, for each quarter, year, and so this is saying for each quarter, year, and region, and then this one is saying for each region, return the uh, latest quarter um, of sales. So, uh, putting that all together, <clears throat> you would kind of start inside out. So I'm going to move some of these around. Hopefully this is helpful to type these out like this. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to say, so again, we work inside out. So we say for each region, calculate the maximum quarter. Okay, let me paste this one here. Then, for each quarter, region, and let me do uh, year, quarter and region calculate the sum of sales then oh boy for each region return the latest quarter of sales so uh, I'm not sure, actually I don't think I typed this out quite right, but hopefully it makes sense. So basically this inside one says for each region, return, calculate the maximum quarter. And then for each quarter, uh, year, region, I'm sorry, for each year, quarter, and region, you want to uh, return, calculate the sum of sales for the latest quarter. Then, on the outside, we want to basically aggregate that up even farther to the region level. And we say for each region, return the latest quarter of sales. So uh, this one is essentially ignoring the quarter then. So <clears throat> hopefully you found that helpful. So I hit OK. And now if I go back over to my sheet one, you can see each line is colored by the, uh, the same color all the way across. So you see my tooltip says 292.814 everywhere. On the south it always says 176.240. So that's uh, the way that you could color those. And then maybe what I would do here is probably put that on the label. And then I'm going to also put latest, uh, latest sales on the label. So let me move it to the detail and then label. And then let's just clean up our tooltips a bit. And let's make these. Uh, let's uh, let's actually font. Let's match the mark color, and then let's make these bigger. 
So let's maybe make this one uh, maybe uh, 12 or 11 point maybe, and then let's make this one like uh, maybe 12 point bold or something like that. Okay, so now uh, you can see we have each of our regions. So I'm going to move the east down here just to kind of get it out of the way a bit. And then move this one down just to kind of line them up. Okay, so I'll throw this all together up on YouTube and post a video, or I'm sorry, post the uh, workbook on my blog. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.